Hallelujah. You know, um, I was listening to a song a little while ago, and it just really touched my heart. I was thinking about my own life, how the Lord's had such mercy on me in my own life when I came back to the Lord, and even times through my life since I have come back to the Lord, how I fell and messed up, and how He had mercy on me, and held His hand out to me in mercy. And I feel like this message, there is someone out there that really needs to hear this message. Because the Lord has not given up on you. The Lord has not turned His back on you. He is reaching out to you, even this day, through this message. I want to read the words to this song by William Dwayne Clark. These words just really touched me this morning. And I believe they will touch you as well. Our God is so merciful. He's so full of love and so full of mercy. And He's calling out to people right now to come. He's calling out to, to them to come. He's calling out to the backslider. Come back. Come back. He's calling out to the lost soul that has never come to Him. He's calling and saying, Come. Come. I love you. Come. My hands are stretched out to you. Don't turn away. Don't turn away. These words by William Dwayne Clark. Powerful song called You Are Able, Lord. I've turned and walked away. So many times each day. I left you standing there with arms open wide. I wanted my own way, but it led me astray. And now the storm has come, and there's no place to hide. But through it all, I hear you call my name and I turn to see you reach out for my hand why you love me so I cannot explain and even though I've fallen once again you are able Lord to turn my life around and make it something beautiful for you and I will be able, Lord, through this new life i found to bring you all the glory that is due. Lord, your will, not mine, have your way in my life. May all my thoughts and deeds be pleasing in your sight. And in your time, as I humble myself, I know you'll lift me up, and gone will be the night. Gone will be the night. But through it all, I hear you call my name, and I turn to see you reach out for my hand. Why you love me so, I cannot explain, and even though I've fallen once again, you are able, Lord, to turn my life around and make it something beautiful for you. And I will be able, Lord, through this new life i found, to bring you all the glory that is due. You know, there is no salvation in any other but the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other that can cleanse the soul, that can wash the sins away, that can take the sins of the past away as far as the east is from the west and forget those sins. There's no one else. There's no salvation in anyone else but the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no hope 
There is no peace, no joy in anyone or anything else except the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to go to a few verses here right now. Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So no other name, no one else, except for Jesus Christ, is there salvation. And salvation in that verse means rescue or safety. Salvation. There's no more. There is no rescue no safety outside of Jesus Christ. And when you're saved, you are rescued. Jesus rescues you from your life of sin. And he puts you on a new path. He makes a brand new creature from you, out of you, in you. You're brand new. You no longer have a dark spirit. You have spirit filled with light, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. No salvation in any other than Jesus Christ. Jude one twenty four. Now unto him that is able, him that is able, him that it is possible to be of power. In other words, he has the power. Now unto him that is able, he has the power to keep, to keep you, to guard you, to preserve you from falling, and to present you faultless. He can present you faultless. He can present you, keep you from stumbling. He can present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. I want to read that again. Jude one twenty four. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Does it say there that you keep yourself from falling? That you're the one that brings yourself salvation? That there's something you can do? No. The only thing we can do is submit, to submit to the Lord. He does the work. And then Jude one twenty five to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. The only wise God. The only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Second Timothy one twelve, For the which cause I also suffer these things. Who's talking here? Paul. Paul suffered a lot for the sake of the gospel. Because he preached the gospel, he suffered a lot. Nevertheless, he says, I am not ashamed, he said. I'm not ashamed. This is a wonderful part of this scripture as well. For I know, for I know whom I have believed. <laughs> Hallelujah, for I know, I know whom I have believed. I know, I know, he says, I know we can say, I know whom I have believed, the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that can deliver, that can make us stand, that is salvation. I know whom I have believed. And not only that, but, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Isn't that wonderful? 
Isn't that a wonderful scripture? 2 Timothy 1.12 For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. Hallelujah. For I know whom I have believed and am persuaded, hallelujah, that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Committed what? And I am persuaded, hallelujah, that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Committed. He's able to keep us. We commit our lives to him. He's able to keep us. And to him against that day. He's able to keep that which we've committed to him. We commit things to him. We commit in prayer our children, our family to him. He's able to keep. What we have committed unto him against that day, hallelujah. He is faithful. He will not go against his word. He will keep us because he is able to do so. And I pray those of you that are backslidden, that have turned away from God, and he's reached his hand out to you, and you've turned away and turned your back, and went and did your own thing, went your own way. I'm calling to you, the Lord is calling to you to come back today. You come back today, right now. He has open arms for you. And those of you that have never come to him, but he's calling you right now to come. He has open arms, full of love for you right now, to come to Him. Come to Him today. He is salvation. He can cleanse your heart from the darkness. He can and He will. He can cleanse those sins away. So far away, as far as the east is from the west. And not only that, but He will forget your sins. You fall down on your knees right now. You cry out to Him to save you, to cleanse you. In repentance, you cry out for that today. And He will hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is able to keep that which we have committed unto Him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen.